All right, question seven. We are well on our way with uh, this mock now. Uh, so we've got a method to produce zinc iodide. Or sorry, it produces zinc iodide, yes. So this is um, based on a required practical um, that you would have done, just some slightly different ingredients. Um, so uh, here is our method. I'm not going to read it all out. But step six is evaporate off the ethanol, okay? Ethanol is flammable. How could you carry out step six safely? It's all about avoiding a flame. Okay, so you don't want to use a Bunsen burner. So, I mean, the easiest thing to do is just let it evaporate to have room temperature. Okay, other possible solutions are use a, a hot plate, like an, you use an electric heater. Um, I think I accepted do it in an oven, um, so like an incubator type thing, but I mean, the only thing with doing it in an enclosed area is now you've got all this ethanol vapor in there, so it would have to be something where it's actually sucking the um, exhaust out to truly be safe. Um, so, here, explain why the scientists add zinc to excess rather than iodine. Okay, the answer is zinc does not uh, dissolve in ethanol. You need an excess to react all the iodine. Zinc to react all the iodine. Uh, excess zinc can be filtered out. Okay, so you could also say the converse that if you added uh, iodine, does dissolve, uh, so you can't actually filter out the excess iodine. Okay, whereas you can filter out the excess zinc. Okay. Calculate the minimum mass of zinc needed to be added to 0 0.50 grams of iodine so that iodine fully reacts. So, first things first. So, here's what I know. I know that one mole zinc for one mole iodine. Uh, I have, I have iodine. Okay, iodine's diatomic. That's gonna figure it. So, how much, how many grams per mole of iodine? Okay, so I've got, uh, what is it? AR is grams per mole. My AR is two times one, two, seven. Uh, equals, 0 0.500 over moles of iodine. So moles of iodine, just doing some math to rearrange it, divided by uh, 254. Zero point zero one nine seven. Keep three oh two zero, sorry, zero point zero one nine seven moles of I two. So that means that I also have zero point zero zero one nine seven moles of zinc. And here I can do the grams of zinc is equal to, I'm going to rearrange this, AR times moles. So zinc is just one thing, so it's 65 times 
zero point zero zero one nine seven. And I get 0 0.128 grams, 0 0.128 grams. So uh, to, that's just to the right number of significant figures. The actual number I get is 0 0.12795 Okay, so uh, for this here, going to number of moles of iodine. Okay, so finding the formula masses. Uh, recognizing that it's one-to-one -one for the moles uh, and then actually doing the math for it. Okay, and the numbers do make sense that, I mean, look at how much smaller zinc is compared to iodine. Uh, so, of course, I need a lot less mass of it in order to react. Okay, so this is a percent yield question. Percent yield equals actual divided by theoretical. So my percent yield is 0 0.92. 92% is a decimal. Uh, equals 12.5 over theoretical. Uh, so, equals 12.5 divided by 0 0.92, uh, 13.6 grams. Well, it's just one reason why the percentage yield is not 100%. So either we didn't actually react all of the iodine, uh, or some was left in the filter paper. Far more, I mean, the filter paper is, is damp. When you have done filtering, it does absorb some of the water. So, of course, it's going to absorb some of the salt, or I guess ethanol in this case. It's still going to absorb some of this metal compound in, its, uh, in the filter paper. Hmm. Okay. So we have lots of opportunities for powers of 10 errors with this one here. So you have to calculate how much mass of zinc iodide is required to make uh, 250 cubic centimeters of 0 0.01 molar cubic uh, molar. Yeah, 0 0.01 molar uh, zinc iodide. So we have to look at it as uh, conch equals... Uh, moles, oops, lowercase, uh, moles per volume. Okay, so my conch is 0 0.1, conch is short for concentration, 0, 0 is moles divided by. Now the thing is, this is, uh, so you have cubic decimeters versus cubic centimeters to go from cm cubed to dm cubed, okay? That way is divide by 100, okay? Uh, or sorry, divide by 1,000, divide by 1,000. 10 times 10 times 10, yeah, okay? So this is actually 0 0.250 dm cubed. So the moles is 0 0.250 times 0 0.1, 0 0.025 moles. Okay, 
And we know that AR is mass per mole. Okay, so my AR uh, here, I've got to look at it as 65 plus 2 times 127. And that is equal to mass divided by 0 0.025. So 65 plus 2 times 127 is 319. 319 times 0 0.025 is 7.98 grams when I round it. And that is question seven.